So if you have a vertical asymptote for the lower bound, so for example, let's say you have a vertical asymptote at A, and here's your upper bound of B. So we want to calculate the area under the curve, so we're going to find the limit as K approaches A from the right. So we're going to look at the limit from the right-hand side of A. If you have a point between your two integrals where it's, um, you have a vertical asymptote where it's undefined, then that's where you're going to have to split your integral, similar to when you had a negative infinity to infinity. So what, and then you have to follow the idea of what we just went over, doing the limit from the left and then from the right, because that's where your vertical asymptote is going to be. So if it's undefined at some point between the bounds, then you're going to have to split your integral at that particular point. So for example, let's take a look at the integral from 0 to 8 of 1 over the cube root of x. So is there a place where, whether it's at one of your bounds, is there a place where this function is going to be undefined? And the answer is yes. We know at zero that this would be undefi undefined. So we know we have discontinuity at x equals zero, which is your lower bound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as the limit as k approaches zero from the right, again, because this is your lower bound. So the limit is k approaches 0 from the right, and I'm going to find this interval from k to 8. And I'm just going to rewrite this as x to the negative 1 third dx. So when I integrate, I have the limit as k approaches 0 from the right. And again, this is going to turn into 3 halves times x to the 2 thirds. And again, I'm going to evaluate this from k to 8. So when I plug in my bounds, I end up with 3 halves times. When I plug in 8, I end up with the cube root of 8, which is 2, and then 2 squared, which is 4, minus plugging in my k. I end up with k to the 2 thirds. Again, it's the limit as k is approaching 0. So when I do a direct substitution, this is going to go to 0. So I have 3 halves times 4, which is going to give me 6. So then I know that this is going to converge converges to 6. So if I look at example B, my upper bound is 4. Notice if I plug 4 in for x, that's where this um, integral is going to be undefined. So I'm going to rewrite again, since this is again my upper bound where it's undefined, I'm going to rewrite this as the limit as k approaches 4 from the left, from 0 to k of 1 over the square root of 4 minus x dx. Again, I'm going to have to do a u sub here. So u is going to be equal to 4 minus x. My du will be negative dx. So I have the limit as k approaches 4 from the left of the negative going from 0 to k of u. And again, I'm going to rewrite this with a negative exponent, negative 1 half du. So when I go ahead and integrate this, I'm going to have the limit as k approaches 4 from the left. Again, I'm going to add 1. That's going to give me a u to the 1 half. Divide by 1 half, which means I multiply by 2. So that's going to be a negative 2u to the 1 half. So when I substitute back in, I have the limit as k approaches 4 from the left. It's negative 2 times the square root of 4 minus x. And I need to evaluate this from 0 to k. So I plug in my upper bound. I'm going to have negative 2 times. I'm just going to pull out my constant. Square root of 4 minus k minus the square root of 4 minus 0. Again, k is approaching 4 from the left, so I'm going to plug in 4 for k. That's going to be negative 2 times. 4 minus 4 is going to give me a 0. Minus the square root of 4 is just going to be 2, so I end up with a 2. When I multiply negative 2 times negative 2, that gives me a 4. So again, that also converges. So if you look at C, 
C is one where notice you have a point of discontinuity between your bounds at x equals 2. So we're going to have to split this integral at x equals 2. So I'm going to have to rewrite this going from 1 to 2 of 1 over x minus 2 to the 2 thirds dx plus my integral going from 2 to 4 of 1 over x minus 2 to the 2 thirds dx. So again, since this is where I have to split, I have to, since I split it 2, this is where it's undefined. I'm going to look at the limit as k is approaches 2 from the left. Going from 1 to k of 1 over x minus 2 to the 2 thirds dx. Plus, again, in my second integral, again, at 2, that's where this is going to be undefined. So I'm just going to use a different letter. I'm going to use the letter um, t. The limit as t approaches 2 from the right, going from 2 to 4, 1 over x minus 2 to the 2 thirds dx. Again, all it takes is for one of these to diverge. The whole thing will diverge. So when I go to do my integration, I'm going to rewrite this as a u sub. So again, u is going to be equal to x minus 2. My du is a dx. So I can rewrite this as the limit as k approaches 2 from the left, going from 1 to k of u to the negative 2 thirds du. Add that to the limit as t approaches 2 from the right. Again, I'm going to go from t to 4 of u to the negative 2 thirds du. So when I integrate this, again, I'm going to add 1. That's going to give me u to the 1 third divided by 1 third, which is a 3. And again, I have to evaluate this from 1 to k. So when I find the limit as k approaches 2 from the right, I have 3 times, again, I'm going to plug in, I'll have to finish that. I'll come back to